hi friends welcome to today's video today in this video we will see about how to send and receive a message using capel script open canalizer i have installed version 16 and then click on continue open with restricted feature set and now it's opened expand the window so no license found so i don't have license that's why pop-up is showing now you can close all the windows so go to analysis and simulation measurement setup so here uh, uh, this is our can case so from this can case only a message will be sent so uh, how the message will be sent it will go in this direction so it will go to this node so here right click so insert program node so this node is for capital double click it last for the file to save so now uh, you can save the file in the location so this is an empty file so this now the capital browser will be opened yeah so so there's a basic format so the empty file so include is where you can add header files variables is where uh, you can declare variables so now go to google type for hp capital programming click on the first link so open the pdf so i already downloaded it i will open the pdf go to page number 99 in this pdf so this is where uh, you can see the capital code for sending and receiving a message so here uh, capital code is explained properly to send a message we need to declare a message inside a variable declare a message 200 so the capital is even based whenever i press a key this particular function will be triggered set byte zero value to 20 and then byte one value to 24 you can give some random values also so currently i'm giving random values and byte two value to two And then set the DLC to 8. So basically DLC will be 8 for the UDS messages and diagnostic messages for normal can. So you can also change the message ID again if you need, in case if you need. So you can set the ID to same, ID to 200. And then select the can channel. So I'm setting can channel to 2. So now use the output keyword. Don't forget to use the output keyword. So if we are using output keyword, then the message will be sent. Otherwise, it will stay in the buffer. So when you output, the message will be sent. Sent to the CAN hardware. From the CAN hardware, it will send to the external hardware. So now the whenever I press key A, so the message will be sent. We will now use uh, on message keyword to receive a particular message in the CAN channel 1 with message ID 100. So now whenever the message 100 in the can channel is received this function will be triggered i am checking condition if byte zero value is 10 so byte zero value is 10 uh, i am printing in right window like message 100 is received with byte one value So now compile the program. So you can see zero errors, zero warnings. So now I'll try to declare one more message with ID 300. So I'll give name as message one keyword. So now we'll copy the transmission program and I will paste it there. So I'll change it to message one. So I need to change in byte zero also. So, and I need to change the can ID also. Output also I need to change. So now if you see now whenever the message 100 is received, so message 300 is also sent. 
So this is how uh, when message hundred is received. So I'm triggering message three uh, hundred. So now you compile all. Yeah, and then it's done. Zero zero warnings. So this part of code is for uh, sending a message. So this part of code is for receiving a message. Go to HP Capital Programming PDF. So go to page number hundred. So you can see example of uh, message reception. So here uh, they are trying to send the message uh, using this keyword. But uh, directly using this keyword is uh, not recommended. So here whenever the message is received in the CAN one, they are declaring a temporary pointer. They are assigning this to temporary pointer. And they are uh, sending the message using output keyword. You can try these examples. We have a hardware. So here I don't have a license, so simulation is not possible. So you can check output if you have a hardware. So similarly from Capel, the message is sent in this direction to the hand CAN hardware. So from this CAN hardware to the CAN bus, so it'll be sent in this direction. You can also create multiple Capel nodes also if you want. And then also these windows, these components are used for analyzing the CAN log. So let's say you are having multiple CAN data, you can analyze the CAN data.